Ten by. Okay. I got you. BFIT Nation, welcome back to our Motivational Monday, our BFIT Live Exchange Programmed Workout. All right, team, uh, grab your sprays, grab a towel, grab your waters. Uh, let's get warmed up for a great start to our week back. All right, team, uh, I have my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonny Berry. How are we doing today, ma'am? Hi, good. Hi, <laughs> BFIT Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We're excited uh, to be back with you for today, uh, not only just to join our fitness community, but also to welcome back a hybrid workout that we have for you today, okay team? We have four different movements that we're gonna tackle for today. Uh, the way our hybrid um, program works, we have some cardio-based movements and some resistance-based movements to tackle for today, team. So, all right, so let's run through the movements as we get started. Movement number one is gonna be an alternating forward lunge, team, all right? So we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells if you have them available. Movement number one is gonna be an alternate forward lunge. Movement number two, a bit of a rep sequence here. We have two push-ups followed by 10 squat jumps. All right, team, this is really geared to get your heart rate elevated just a little bit. Movement number three, we're slowing things down with a little bit of correct form and strong form with a dumbbell bent over row. All right, so a pair of dumbbells here for that bent over row. And movement number four, we're looking at two inchworms and 10 mountain climbers. Again, this one is targeted to get your heart rate elevated uh, to really progress through the workout, all right? Our timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds, all right, BFIT Nation. Um, this is a great time to really uh, dial into our Facebook account, share this workout with your friends, your family, your spouse, your coworkers, anything like that, and leave us a comment uh, during our live workout. Again, this is live, so I do have my page up and available if you have any questions, any comments, uh, anything that you may want to ask, may want to encourage, may want to keep each other accountable and motivated, uh, go ahead and drop us a note in the comments below as well as sharing this workout with uh, those that you may have available to you. Sergeant Barry, I think we're good to go. I think um, what's great about a hybrid workout is we really get to focus on the weight that we pick for, let's say movement number uh, one and three, and then we really get to focus on getting our heart rate elevated with the cardio-based movements for two and four. So I think that's the fun part of a, I feel, the fun part of a hybrid workout. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to demo each of the four movements. That way we know exactly what we're going to tackle for today. We'll jump into some dynamic stretching. That way we can get our bodies prepared to work. And then we will jump into the workout, which is just under 20 minutes. All right, team. So let's start with movement number one. We have an alternating forward lunge. All right, team. I'm going to perform the four movements and Siren Barry is going to perform a modified version uh, depending on our fitness level. This is really great to uh, keep in mind on if we need to regress on any of our movements. Siren Barry will keep us uh, on track with those types of modifications. Okay, team? So, movement number one, we have an alternating forward lunge. We're going to grab a pair of dumbbells here. We're going to get to the back of our workout space. Now, I will, I will perform the alternating forward lunge, and Sergeant Barry is going to be, perform a static lunge, team. So first, if you uh, look at me, alternating forward lunge, we're going to come to the back of our space here. We're going to take one step out forward, drop that rear knee down. Ideally, that front knee is tracking over our toe or over our ankle. Drive back up into standing position, keeping our chest up as we alternate left leg and right leg. Keeping our chest up once again, and shoulders rolled back, and head is looking straight ahead, driving back through that heel into that standing position. And Sergeant Barry's gonna demonstrate a static lunge. So she's gonna take a split stance here, and from here, she's going to go in her, to her lunge, which just means dropping that rear knee down, keeping that chest up, driving up through that front lead leg heel, keeping chest up, shoulders roll back once again, dropping right back down into that lunge, and right back up. Now Sergeant Barry's gonna perform 20 seconds of work on one leg into that static position. 
switching lead legs and then dropping down into that alternating staggered lunge with the opposite leg back, all right? That's gonna be the modified version for movement number one. All right, team. Movement number two, we have two push-ups and 10 squat jumps, all right, team? So, a little two-for-one combination movement. We have 10 squat jumps followed by two push-ups. However, we look at it here, we're gonna go down into our low squat position, wherever it may be. Find that low squat position from here, we're gonna drive up through our heels, through our lower body, keeping our chest up, using our arms for momentum. Get a little bit of air in between you and your feet. So we have 10 squat jumps. Nice elevation here, followed by two push-ups. So out of those squat jumps, come down to the floor here. Hands are right underneath our shoulders or right outside of our shoulders. We're dropping down into our push-up and we are right back up for two reps. Coming back up, resetting into 10 squat jumps. Now, Siren Berry is going to do two push-ups as well, but instead of squat jumps, she's going to have body weight squats. So she's gonna take her foot placement at shoulder width apart, dropping down to her low squat position, isolating that low squat, and driving back up through he her heels. So we're just eliminating that air um, and that bit of explosiveness into an isolated squat. And then if you have it in you for today, you're gonna drop down into two push-ups. Same rep count, just a modified version of the squat jump. All right, team, movement number three, we're gonna grab two dumbbells here. And, uh, sorry, Mary, you want to take this one? Certainly. All right, two dumbbells here. We're gonna take our feet and foot placement, shoulder width apart. As always, soft bend in our knees. We have a dumbbell bent over row, so we're gonna push those hips back Perfect, right there. From here, keeping our dumbbells close to us, close to our body, we're gonna pull towards our pocket. We like to say palm to pocket here, just like Sergeant Barry is doing. And ideally, that 90 degree bend at our arm and elbow is perfect. We're really engaging our mid to upper back and our lats. Nice control form, back is nice and flat. Head is looking down at the floor right here for spinal alignment. Again, pushing back our hips, nice foundation, and we're gonna stand right back up. So we do have 40 seconds of work here. Now, if you feel that 40 seconds is a long time, which it is a good amount of time for to put out a good amount of reps. So go down into our squat position. We're gonna row, stand back up as needed, shake it out, right? Take a little bit of our tension out and then hinge at the hips and drop back into our bent over row to complete the 40 seconds of work if we need, right? Safety first, so uh, be mindful of any type of lower back situation with a hinge movement as we are doing with our bent over rows. All right, team, and movement number four, we have two and 10 once again. We have two inch worms and 10 mountain climbers. So we're gonna come to the back of our workout space here. We're gonna drop down, reaching for our toes, feeling that stretch in our hamstrings, coming out into a high plank position. That's one inch worm, retracting back, touching our toes, coming back up to standing position controlling ourselves on the way down again into that second inchworm. From here, we have 10 mountain climbers. So driving our knees to our chest for some core activated movement, reset, and we are back up for our two inchworms. All right, team. And if we need to slow down on those mountain climbers, just be mindful of our uh, cardio endurance. And again, movement number four is really uh, gear to get our heart rate elevated. So be mindful of where we are today in our fitness level and uh, safety first, but also have fun. Let's have fun today, team, and um, challenge ourselves, but most of all, have fun, all right? Uh, any questions, any comments? Again, leave us a note in the comments below. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need that motivation, team, because this is a great hybrid style of workout, team. All right, um, let's get started here, BeFit Nation. All right, again, any questions, any comments? Leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know how we're doing today. Let us know how your Monday's going. That's who's here. How we are doing today, team. All right. Uh, with a smile on today's workout, we are going to get started with some dynamic stretching, team. All right. We're going to take it to uh, one leg here. We are going to extend that right leg out to our glutes and push those hips forward with a dynamic quad stretch. So you're going to feel this stretch on the front of our legs here. Again, our quads hips opening up, finding our balance, core is nice and tight, 
We'll sit and we'll do each of these dynamic stretches. Go ahead and switch legs here, left leg and or right leg, depending on how we feel today. Again, pushing our hips forward. Nice stretch in our quad, hip flexors, hips. Again, if we've been seated for a long period of time, uh, these are great movements to really open up our hips, glutes, quads, hamstrings, a lower back, things like that. So again, uh, 30 seconds for each of these movements. Go as quickly or as slowly as you need. You know your body best. So uh, we could be a little bit more tight today than we were yesterday. All right, team. Let's go ahead and go into a nice wide stance here, if we can, as wide as uh, we can. From here, we're either going to come over and touch our toes to feel a nice hamstring stretch, like Sergeant Barry will do, or you can shift your weight over to your left and to your right and get a little bit more hamstring and inner thigh activation as well. Same type of movement here, reaching down towards our toes or a straight leg lateral lunge here. Again, just warming our bodies up, getting us ready to work here. Nothing too aggressive, nothing too high intensity, but getting some blood flow going to our lower body, our extremities, and opening up our hips and things of that nature. So taking it nice and slow here, getting us ready to work here. All right, team. Top of our workout space here, we're gonna take a reverse lunge here. So we're gonna go right leg extends back, or we can static lunge back. And we're gonna drop that rear knee down, right arm comes up, and reaches over, feeling that stretch on the lats, the back of your uh, back here. Knee drops down. Go ahead and shift as quickly or as slowly as you need, or sit down good into one leg at a time as you can pulse it out here on one leg or shift back. Good, again, just getting some blood flow going, getting our bodies prepared to work here. Heart rate should be elevating just a little bit. <clears throat> Good, my left leg is going back. Left arm is up, reaching over to my right side, and that's gonna finish us out there. All right, team, a few upper body movements and shoulder mobility movements just to get us ready for those push-ups and the inchworms here. So we have YTWs to finish us out here. So we're gonna to come to the space here. Our center is gonna be hands together from here. We're gonna make a nice Y formation. Big Y formation here, good. Nice squeeze with our shoulder blades coming back. Big T, there it is. Back to center and a big W, feeling that shoulder stretch. Bend the upper back, again, nice big Y. Deep breath in here, exhale as you come back to center. Big T, deep breath in here. Exhale in here, and a big W. And one more around to finish us out. A big Y, a big T, good. And a big W, Show off your biceps. and we're showing off our biceps. That's right. <laughs> All right, team, looks like we are good to go. Take the time now if you need to kind of freestyle any additional muscle groups that you may need. All right, have a drink of water. Uh, we're gonna get our timer set up, ready to go. Again, today's workout, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. So we're gonna be working for 40 seconds. We're gonna be resting for 20. Four different movements. Again, hybrid, hybrid, hybrid workout for you today, right? High intensity, resistance training, cardio-based movements. We have a bit of everything for you today to get that heart rate elevated. Starting with dumbbells, two dumbbells here with an alternating forward lunge. Todd, we got 10 seconds here before you start. Grabbing a pair of dumbbells here. We have five seconds. We are up in three, two, one. Let's get started here at the back of our workout space here. We're gonna take a nice lunge forward or a static lunge like Sardenberry. And we're gonna lunge up to the front again, keeping that knee right over our toe or ankle, sitting back in that rear knee, keeping our chest up. 20 seconds here, we're gonna go ahead and switch legs if needed. Good, 15 here. Last 12, out in 10. Good job team, keep it up. Out in five. Last three. Two and one, good job. 20 seconds of rest here. This is where we get the time to find our quick breath here before we jump into two push-ups and 10 jump squats to really guard up, get our heart rate elevated. All right, see, 
Find that nice, solid foundation. We'll start off with 10 jump squats, since we are standing. Here we are, team. Dropping down into our low squat position, extending up into 10 jump squats, or isolated into a bodyweight squat. Like Sergeant Barry is doing. Nice control form here. I'm gonna back back up. I have two push-ups here, down into my high plank position. Dropping to my chest here. Nice two. I'm right back up, resetting. 10 jump squats. Again, I think what's great about these workouts is you're not chasing a rep so much. Two, one, and time, but not but the clock here. So uh, it just shows that we can work at our own pace, wherever our fitness level is, and uh, get us through those 40 seconds of work, right? No matter what rep we hit, technically. Seven seconds here, bent over rows. We're gonna grab two dumbbells here. Again, focus on form here. Set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend in our knees. Pushing those hips back, squeezing at the top. Good, nice control form here. Again, it's important that we set ourselves up with a nice solid foundation. So our feet are shoulder width apart. Soft bend at our knees here, palms are facing you. From here, we're leading with our elbows up. Close to our torso here. Pulling towards our pocket, palm to pocket here. Last eight seconds, if you need to stand up, reset, drop back in for the last three, two, one, and time. Good job, good work. Good work resetting here. 15, 14, 13 seconds. Shake it up here. Again, isolating our lats. Glutes are activated to hold us into that hinge position. Two inch worms, 10 mountain climbers. Coming up, I'm fixing my life here. Here we go, Ten, <laughs> two inch worms here, dropping down towards our toes, extending out into a high plank position, pausing for a second, keeping those hips up somewhat, coming back up to standing position, dropping back down here. And now we have 10 mountain climbers. Again, we can drive our knees into our chest or take a little bit of a step forward, just like Sergeant Barry's doing. Last 10 seconds here. Finish this out, team. Out in five. Last three, two, one. All right, good job, team. Round one, round one of four in the books here. All right, take your time here. See how we're doing today, B-Fit Nation. Good job. Leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing today. All right, team, how was our weekend? Did we do any, uh, anything fun outdoors? Did we move our bodies? Did we celebrate our active bodies by getting a, like, a walk or a run or a training test? <laughs> Let us know, 27 seconds here. Find our breath here. Again, for movement number one, we have that alternating forward lunge for 20 seconds here. Hydration is key. Stay hydrated today. Again, heart rate elevated with our hy hybrid type of workout. 10 seconds here. All right, back of our workout space. Five seconds, either an alternate lunge like myself or a static lunge like Sergeant Barry will demonstrate here. All right, here we go. Up. Again, keeping our chest up at all times. Dropping that rear knee down. Good. Really driving back through that front heel, back to standing position. I think uh, what's great about any of these movements is you can scale them up just by the tempo that you work or exceed at, or you can scale up these movements by really holding some heavier weight. It's all up to us here. We are in control here in the last seven seconds. Five and a half, team. Three, two, one, and recover. Good job. <laughs> Drop like in the yoga, they always say it's your practice. It's your, right? it's your practice, absolutely. It is your practice. It is our practice today. It is our practice. <laughs> Beef and Nation, seven seconds here, two push ups, 10 jump squats. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Jump squat or a static squat. What's great about this jump squat is it's forcing you to use a little bit of explosiveness into your squat. 
Out of that, two push-ups here. <laughs> Reset. Down into our drop squat. Good job. Last 12. Keeping our chest up, keeping our head up. Quads are on fire here. Last three, last two, finishing this out. <laughs> and time, good job. <laughs> is it warm in here? It is very warm. Are you warm. working too hard? <laughs> I need to slow down. No, it's very warm in here. I think that's, here we are. We're been, we're, we are warming up here. All right, team. Bit of a row, again, with this movement, nice control, nice form. Set yourself up, nice solid foundation. Good. Exhaling as you roll up. Good. Again, breath, cadence helps during our resistance training. Deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you drive your palms to your pocket. Last 10 seconds here. Good. If you need to stand up, reset, shake it off, hinge back into that position. Good. Try to stay on your heels here. And time. Good job. Good work. Drop the weight here. Round three is done. I'm sorry. Movement three wow. is done. It's like you my hopes up like that. I know. I'm sorry. Two inch arms, 10 mountain climbers. Let's finish it off round two. Keep it loose. Here we go. <laughs> two inch arms here, 40 on the clock. Reaching down into our toes. High plank position. Pause it out here. Stand back. Back to standing. Again, these can be as slow or as fast as you feel your fitness level can meet. Driving in those 10 mountain climbers. Not gonna lie, I lost count. Back to our inchworms. Plank. Inchworm. Good. Last five seconds, finish this out wherever we may be. And time. Right there. Right here. Right there. <laughs> right there. Stand back up. Good job, BFit Nation. Stay with us here. Again, if you are just joining us, Sergeant Barry and myself, BFit Ambassador Roy Montes, we are working through a hybrid style of workouts with our Exchange BFit program. Right. We have cardio-based movements. We have some resistance-based movements to really work on specific targeted muscle groups. But overall, this is a full body workout, really challenging us in both a resistance muscle, targeted muscle group type of way and our cardiovascular system as well, right? Really challenging us to where we are today, team. All right, 13 seconds here, find our space, find our water if we need, towel off, find two dumbbells for those alternating forward lunges or static lunges. Coming up in two. 140 on the clock here. Go ahead and drop down. Good, again. Sorry, Barry is working through a static lunge. If we may not have a forward lunge in us today, that's not in our practice today, we can go into a static lunge. 20 seconds here. Get switch legs. Good. Again, keeping our chest up. Slowing down that tempo could really help read our bodies all the way through the movement. Five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. <clears throat> all right, dropping the weight here. 10 and two. 10 squat jumps, two push ups. There it is, round three. We have two rounds under our belt, so we know the drill, we know what to do. 10 and two here. Here we go, team. Again, 10 squat jumps, or if at round three, we are at 10 isolated squats, like Sergeant Barry, let's do it. Out of your 10, you're dropping down, two push-ups. Again, I think a great call out is a modification version if we need to drop to our knees. Again, hands are right outside of our shoulders. Lead with our chest going down, keeping our hips up ever so slightly. Out of those two, and we're right back up. Last seven seconds. 
Finish it out, two, one, and time. Good job. Want to stay with us. Two dumbbells here. Oh no. It's getting warm in here. Uh, two dumbbells and a bent over row. All right, team. Same with us here. Again, set yourself up with your foot placement, shoulder width apart. Soft bend at our knees. Again, think about our breath cadence as well. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale as you pull up. Again, palm to pocket. Think about pulling towards your hip crease rather than your chest. 15 seconds here, team. We need to stand up, shake it out, take a little tension out, drop back in whenever you are ready. Continue to work, last five. Out in three, two, last rep here. Good job. Good work. <laughs> Good work, drop the weights here. 10 and two, inchworms and mountain climbers, finding the back of our workout space. We're ready. <laughs> All right, team, we are up in three, two, coming down here, two inch worms. All right, with this second, what are we on, round three here? Come out to our high plank, reach out a little further. Now we have our 10 mountain climbers. <clears throat> Back up into our two inchworms. I think a little bit of a reach really progresses the movement up. Last five seconds, forcing you to stabilize off of three points of contact. Two, one, core is engaged, and time. Good job. Good job, BFit Nation. Coming to you here, how are we doing? How are we feeling, team? Good job, good job, team. I see us out here. Again, Sunberry and I are here working through a hybrid style of workout. Let us know how you're doing, how you're feeling. Drop us a note in the comments below. Any modifications, any questions, sharing it with your friends, your family, your spouse, or your coworkers. Keep each other accountable here. These are movements not only that we can accomplish here in the gym setting, but also they translate very well outside into our active BFIT lifestyle team. 20 seconds here. I think these movements, if you replace dumbbells with any other type of household object, maybe they're groceries, maybe they're car seat, uh, gallons of milk. They're relatable to our movements here. Forward lunge, here we go team. Movement number one, thank you so much. Back of our workout space here, driving up through our heel. Round four, movement number one. Last round team. Last round, best round. Again, try to keep our knee over our toe, over our ankle. Driving back up. Nice control all the way through your movement. All the way through here. Last five seconds. Good, out in three, two, and one. Good job, Sergeant Barry showing us the modification there. Dropping the weight, two push-ups, 10 squat jumps. <clears throat> I think what's great about the modified version is that it shows you that anyone at any fitness level can meet our BFIT Live Workouts team. Two, one, 10 and two here. I started with the push up for some reason. It's your practice. Uh, it's my practice. I've committed. So <laughs> we are here. I have 10 squat jumps. Sunbury has 10 bodyweight squats. Good. Good, there we go. Down into our push-up. Good. Retracting back up. 10 squat jumps to finish us out. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. What a push through team, you will not see that one again. Great work, great work, great work. All right, coming up on our bent over row here. Eight seconds, find our dumbbells. 
solid foundation here. All right, hinging at the hips, pushing our hips back. Again, with our resistance training, we wanna take it nice and controlled. Moving with the purpose here. Engaging our mid to upper back. Our lats, glutes are engaged, core is engaged as well. 20 seconds here, if you need to, stand up. Shake it out, roll those shoulders back. Hinging at the hips here, good. Last eight seconds, pulling towards our pocket. Last five, out in three, two, one, and time, good job. Good work, team. These nations holding strong, good job. Good job. 10 seconds here, coming up on our last and final movement, two and twerm, 10 mountain climbers. It's that full audience clap, that gets me every time. Here we go, team. Ten, two inch worms, 10 and two, 10 and two. One and two, reaching out left and right if it is here with us today. Good, all the way up, nice control. Dropping back down. From here, you have your 10 mountain climbers. Good, driving to your knee or stepping up like Sergeant Barry is doing. Good, last 13 here. Showing nice control through your movements. Last five, finish us out wherever we may be. <laughs> last two, last one, and time. Defend Nation, one clap for us, one clap for our BFIT Nation family. <laughs> grab that towel, grab that water, team. You ready for round five? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding today, we don't have a round five. <laughs> team, saw you in the control room. Good job today, team. Well done. Again, today we are focusing on a hybrid solid workout. We had some cardio-based movements. We had some resistance-based movements available for you today, really getting our heart rate elevated, as well as focusing that mind and muscle connection on any specific hinge movement, push movement, uh, forward lunge movement, really isolating our quads, hamstrings, glutes, full body workout for you today. Again, like, <clears throat> as mentioned, these movements can be transferred and translated in the gym here or outside into our active daily lifestyle team. Good work today. Sergeant Barry over here showing us the great modifications that you can do and meet us at any type of fitness level. I think uh, that, that's really great and goes far, showing how much, wherever you are at your fitness level, we can meet you here in our BFIT Live program workouts. Sergeant Barry, anything available, anything for you on your end? No, I just think a big takeaway, like you said, Roy, is this working out is very personal to you. So do you, don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Bring your best every day. and. That's, that's what you got to do to get it done. So, And thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us as well. And uh, again, you're putting your best foot forward and giving us the effort that you have for today, team. All right. Um, <clears throat> Supplement-wise, if you need any additional uh, fitness gear, fitness-related material, clothing, footwear, uh, sporting goods, show up and we will meet you at shopmyexchange.com. Click us in-store or shop us online. Uh, Click us online, shop us in store <laughs> at the exchange, at your installation. Uh, we have everything that you need to supplement your active lifestyle to help you be fit and to help you stay ready, team. Uh, if you search outside of our exchange stores on location and if you go into our wellness services, we have those available as well from some chiropractic care to cryotherapy to hair care to durable medical equipment that can really help brace you for any type of movement that you may need support in team. All right, if you search outside of that into our exchange restaurants, we have some better for you options in over 1,700 restaurants uh, exchange worldwide. So it's more than 1,700 exchange restaurants where we have better for you options. Surf those menus, search for those better for you options to really support that active lifestyle in a healthy and better for you nutrition, right? Nutrition is key, nutrition is important to really supplement ourselves and to drive and fuel ourselves into that active lifestyle team. Uh, smart snacking options, let's talk about that at our, ex at our express stores, right team? Search for those healthier choice tags that you'll find um, 
within our aisles on different products that are better for you, that are healthier choices, that really take the guesswork out of um, selecting the right food supplement for a healthier choice, right? Smart snacking options here. We have you covered, we have you, and we are here to help assist you in creating a healthier lifestyle team. Uh, and as always, we have our exchange hub. If you're looking for additional information, we have fitness related material, we have nutrition covered, we have wellness services, and we have gear. Click or scan or pull up your phone uh, camera for this QR code that'll take, take you directly to this specific site where you can dive into at-home workouts, wellness services that you may have at your installation. We call them out for you there. We have gear uh, that's available on Shop My Exchange to really help you develop you and encourage you and lead you into that active lifestyle team. We're here to support you 100%. Um, Sergeant Barry, anything else on your end? Uh, no, we... other than have a fantastic week. Absolutely. Have a fantastic week, team. Be Fit Ambassador Roy Montes, Sergeant Barry. Uh, we are signing off today. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Bye.